What's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create this awesome epic zoom true effect in Adobe After Effects. It's really simple to create, you only have to know how and actually if you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, we are going to be releasing a very very cool transitions pack. It's not out yet, we're currently working on the promotion video and the tutorials that go with that pack because it's going to be incredibly awesome. There are like 30 unique transitions really really cool effects and you can actually stack them up the way you want to so you can get like unlimited options for these transitions we will be releasing them very soon I will put a card once it's out here and then you can really improve your work with some really cool transitions so stay tuned for that and apart from that let's get started with the tutorial all right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. This is the transition that we are going to create today. Uh, it looks really, really cool. And you see that a lot in the recent kind of popular travel videos and stuff like that. So that's why I thought it would be really cool to make a video on this. By the way, let me do a short demonstration on our new transition spec. I'll create a new adjustment layer. And then right here, this is our transition spec. So, um, you have a bunch of options, really, really cool, like the hyper zoom effect, I really like this one. You just drag it onto an adjustment layer, press U on the keyboard and just drag it over like so and then you will have your transition. So really cool and if you want to use another one, you just delete all the effects right here. Maybe you want the simple zoom in effect right here and we can drag this over as well. So press U on the keyboard and just select all of these keyframes and just drag them over like so and now you'll have this effect right here and the cool thing about this pack is that you can actually create a new adjustment layer on top of your original one and apply the chromatic aberration for example press U on the keyboard and just select the keyframes and match them with your shot right here so right here we have these keyframes center them out right here and then change the blending mode to an overlay and now you will have these effects stacked up together So as you can see right here, we have some chromatic aberration action. You can go ahead and tweak all these things. So this is a short overview of our own pack that will be released very, very soon. And once it's out, I'll put a link in the description. So if you're seeing this video a little bit later, um, you might actually see it in the description already. So, okay, let's get started with the tutorial. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm doing some self advertisement, but this is the only way to keep the channel alive and to improve the content that we create. So hopefully you understand. Let's create a new adjustment layer right here and the first thing that we want to do is just rename it to transition and then click on your adjustment layer, search for the effect transform and apply this, well, the transform right here, apply this to your adjustment layer. Then we go back into time a little bit right here and we're going to click on the keyframe for the scale right here. So create a new keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch right here. If you press U on the keyboard, you will see your keyframe right here in your timeline. Go ahead to wherever, um, the shots connect right here and go one frame backwards and right here we want to increase our scale to something like 200 go one frame forward again and change it maybe back to 25 and then we're going to move it a little bit further away in time and change it back to 100 okay so now this is the effect that we have okay pretty basic uh, what we want to do here is click on our second image right here and you can actually do this with video as well so uh, just so you know uh, search for the motion tile effect and apply this to your image now we're going to click on mirror the edges and we're going to increase our output height and width so we're going to increase it just as necessary so don't overdo it it's all going to take some memory of your computer to calculate so make sure that you don't overdo this effect and you can actually do this very smoothly like so and there we go so now our complete screen is filled in and if we're going to do another preview we'll have something like this Okay, so now it actually just fills in the gaps um, next to that image. Okay, so what you want to do now is select all of these keyframes, right click and go to keyframe assistance and click on easy ease. Then we're going to open up the graph editor by clicking right here and make sure that you are working in the edit speed graph right here. So for the first keyframe, we're going to select it and then just drag it right here on this anchor point or on whatever it is, we're going to drag this to the right. For the second one, right here, we're going to drag this in a little bit like so. And then for this one, um, well, for the last one, we're also going to drag this in like so. And this one in as well, like so. 
And now if we're going to do a preview, we can actually zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. We can play around a little bit with these values right here. So now we have it like ramping up in speed and then swapping to the other uh, value right here. So this is just in between one keyframe and then it's going to fade out very smoothly. Okay, there we go. So this looks already so much better. If we're going to head off of our, um, if we go out of our graph editor, you can actually also just modify these keyframes, maybe bring them in a little bit better uh, together so it actually uh, is a quicker animation, it becomes a little bit uh, faster. Okay, really cool. So now we only have one more problem and that is right here. We actually see all these fish. It's really obvious that we are actually duplicating our image. And what we want to do is add some motion blur of the movement to really help to sell the effect that it's going all very fast and it's zooming in quickly. So we need some motion blur added in there. So what I will do is go to effect blur and sharpen and I will now we'll choose CC radial fast blur. So that is going to add a zoom effect, like a zoom blur effect right here. We want to increase the amount to 100 at the center of our image right here, so um, where the uh, two images connect and we're going to click on the stopwatch for the amount. Go back to the beginning, change the amount to zero, go back to the end and change the amount to zero as well. So press U on the keyboard and uh, tap it again. Now you'll see something like this. For this first and last keyframe, or actually we can select all of these, right click keyframe assistance, easy ease, and go back into the graph editor. Right here we want to select our first keyframe and drag it in like so, and take our last keyframe and drag it in like so. And for the center one, we want to really um, actually drag it in like so and there we go so now we have a smooth a smooth curve like this and let's do another preview so the render time is going to take a little bit longer but the effect is really going to be so much better just adding a little bit of blur in there all right and there we go so now if you want to use other images videos whatever you can save this and just position this right here in the center where they connect and the effect will be applied immediately so uh, what you can do as well is create another adjustment layer and go to our preset pack so that's in the presets TC transitions right here really cool and we have so many oh my god it's awesome okay so some light leaks for example we can apply this right here and press U on the keyboard and just make sure that this is dragged over right here and make this a little bit longer and you can play with the blending modes maybe an ad right here or a screen uh, let's see what works here classic color dodge might be cool as well uh, you can really go crazy in this so I will go for an additive right here press T on the keyboard and maybe just lower the opacity a little bit so you can really go and customize everything you can even change the colors right here really cool effect I'm also going to bring in these effects right here a little bit like so and I'm also going to keyframe the opacity right here to be zero at the beginning, maybe 100 in the center, why not? And zero at the end, and there we go. F9, maybe bring these in a little bit like so. And let's do another preview. So damn cool with these lens leaks. Okay, so really cool effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped out, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content. And then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.